guys, how are you? Karibuni tena, tena sana. Thank you so much for being with me. And today, I'm privileged to show you how I do uh, chapati on a different way. This is brown chapati with pumpkin. I love chapati with pumpkin. I don't know what I can... Uh, plain chapati is not my thing. I always want to add something, uh, just that kind of flavors, something to enrich the chapati. And today I'm going to show you brown chapati. And those who are new, oh, sorry, I've not told you my name. For those who are new here, my name is Pretty Jeremy, and this is the PJ Kitchen, Karibuni Sana. And for the returning ones, thank you so much for your support. And um, let's do this, guys. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe, join the family, and support this girl. And then just support me too. Thank you, and let's start. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to use the following ingredient. A quarter cup of uh, vegetable oil. Two cups of blend, uh, boiled and blended pumpkin. But this one, I won't use it all of it. I'm going to use uh, little by little. I'll show you. I'll tell you exactly the amount that I've used uh, for making it. We'll have salt for, for taste. I don't add sugar in my chapati. So that will do. Then we'll do... Okay, I'll use this measuring cup to measure. I'm going to use six cups. Level it. This is all meal flour. One, two, three, and this is the sixth one. Six. So I'll add my salt. Uh, I always I always test my flour to see whether the salt is enough. But it's around uh, a teaspoon or so. So I'll mix. Siju kama kuna mtu ufanya vile mi ufanya. Na test unga. So when I when I feel that it's, it's a bit salty, I know my salt is okay. Like now, that salt is okay. I'm not adding any more salt. And remember, I didn't boil my uh, pineapple. Not pineapple, sorry, pumpkin. I didn't, I didn't boil uh, pumpkin with uh, salt. So it's very plain. That's why I'm putting enough salt because it will be overtaken by the, by the pumpkin. I'll taste again. Mm, I need to add kidogo. Just like that. Mix again. Remember, this is all meal. It's not mixed with anything. Pure all meal flour. Ile inaitwa ata. For Kenyans, you know, ata. This is pure ata. Sija ongeza white, white flour yote. So, make a well katikati. Tantumie mikono yangu. I'm going to use my hands. are very clean. So, make a well. Kidogo. Then add my quarter cup of vegetable oil. And then I'll rub in. Rub in until you wanna, your, your oil is well mixed with the flour. So uh, our flour is ready. As I told you, this is how I know whether my, the oil is well mixed with the flour. Like making a ball like that. When it's like that, you know your oil is well mixed with the flour. So I'll make another well at the middle. And now this is the time that I'm going to start adding my, my uh, our pumpkin puree. It's very thick. You can see the consistency. It's very thick. So I've, I've used like a, 
¿Acá? Mm, yes, a cup. Is a cup, so I'll mix first. Not yet, I'll still continue adding. Not enough. Seems that I'm going to use the tool cup because this consistency is very thick. A little bit. Guys, I think it's, it's like we have used all of our two cups in the backing. See? Less than 100 ml Dime baki kwa our puree So we'll continue Now I'll need I'll just need it completely Until the consistency is okay Yeah, this is what I want Because with this dough I'm going to leave it for a while Longer than how I do uh, the other, the normal white flour, so that it can go in very well. So this one, I'll set it aside for an hour or two. You know, they can see it. It's forming a dough. That's where we are. So I'll leave this uh, like I've said one hour because it settles. I don't know why it takes long for, for it to make gluten. So as usual, I showed you to, to put it. I'll it add uh, Yeah, this is what has been left from my two cup of pu uh, pain. Yeah, why am I calling it pineapple? It's pumpkin. Pumpkin puree, a quarter cup, but hippie. It's so hippie. And you may back it from our two cup of puree. And uh, using oil and our brush of course we'll brush I'll brush it with oil then leave it to rest for one or two hours make sure that your oil goes in all corners of the dough at least to prevent it not to form a, a crest or I add, I add what? A crest. Me in it a crest, so I hope it's crest. If you know when in ini metengeneza add add layer in it word in English. Pia in me a soma. So I'll cover it. I'll cover it. It this a complete container that can be sealed. I'll cover it. Put aside. For two hours, let me do it two hours so that it, we can have the perfect uh, texture of our dough. See you after two hours.
this is how I've spread it. If you see, it's very thin. I don't know if you can see. Very thin like that. It is almost full uh, all over my space. So using my unique brush. This is my unique brush. And vegetable oil. I will... Make sure that all the corners have spread this oil all over. The reason why we, after this, I do this, it's to to help the the door form a layers, those layers that you, you see after cooking it. This step is very important if you really want your chapati to have layers. Continue spreading like that until it's over then from there I'm going to sprinkle this is a uh, flour again you sprinkle it on top like that very important step when you're making chapati please don't skip this one if you skip this one your chapati won't be we won't come out with layers be generous enough we boil both oil and if you have ghee people use ghee if you have ghee you can use it if you have butter you can use butter at this stage so I'm going to cut it into strips like this. Like that. So I'll continue doing it until the end, until I finish the whole, the whole door. This is a shortcut. If you, if your surface is don't big the way mine is, you can opt to cut your door uh, into the sizes that can fit your, your surface. Then roll like this. Do all each and every step. After that, I'm going roll like this to the size that you want your chapati to to be i'm not doing big chapatis because my pan is not big enough so just finger like this then this one, tuck it inside there, like that. So this one is ready to, to settle, put it aside, like that. Then continue rolling. Again, this way, this, the tail, tuck it inside there, then push, or you can put in the surface and do that. Continue rolling 
until they finish. I'll show you once I've, I've done with mine how they are for the next step. And our last one, tunaita chapati ya mtoto. This we call this one uh, when I was young. This last one I was being given to roll. So that's how I started learning to make chapati. So this one is like a small one, the last one, and we are done. Okay, using uh, this is clean film. Make sure your chapati is well covered. You can you can cover there. I've, I've covered mine, or you can use a, a damp cloth. Leave it now to rest for the next fifteen minutes. Then we start rolling for the next last tip. See you after 15 minutes. Uh, dust your working area. Take one of your balls like that. Make sure it's dusted well. Then roll. With flour like that, then roll it again. And that is perfect. Put it aside, take another one. I've rolled three and our pan is ready. Now we can turn to our pan and start cooking our chapati. My third one is done. Three of them. The first one, the second one and the third one. So let's go to the pan. I'll take my chapati, the first one, put on the pan. Leave it for a while, for a few seconds, for it to start uh, bringing up the, the bubbles. When the bubbles are up, then you know uh, it's ready to for turning, turning over. This real time, I'm not going to, to edit anything at this part so that you can know how long it took. In a medium heat, my pan is a heavy one. The Indian, the Indian, the Indian pan, it's heavier. So if your pan is lighter, make sure that you are not using high heat. This one is, I'm using medium heat, cause my my pan is a bit heavy. So. I don't know if, whether you can see the bubbles are starting coming up. See, these are bubbles. These are bubbles. Bubbles. You can see now it's raising up. See. That's now where, how you know that your chapati is almost ready for turning over. See those bubbles? And 
and it's ready turn over that's how you know it's it's ready for turning over so using my unique my unique brush again a, a brush a bit of oil on top still here you can you can opt to use butter or ghee my, I'm using vegetable oil, no more vegetable oil because I started doing my chapati with vegetable oil. So still the other side, I don't know whether you can see the bubbles are starting to come out. Yeah, those bubbles are coming out. And if you turn your chapati again, you'll see it's ready the other side. Now turn over again. This side we are not going to leave it leave it for long because already our chapati is ready. We we'll spread a little oil again on this other side for a final touch. is ready I remove this put it aside we put the, the next one our next one again like that leave it for the bubbles to come up then we continue This is how bubbly it is. You see? Perfect one. This is the among the perfect one that I've ever made my chapati. Wow. That's how bubbly it is. Turn over. Mm -hmm. I, I had to show you this. I said the other one was the last one that I'll show you, but this one, so perfect. So I'll do the same. Leave it for some few minutes, then we do the rest. bubble is already busted and voila the chapati is ready just like that simple easy chapati ready remove continue yeah we are done here yeah? And this is our, how our chapati turned out, very soft, I want to show you, see when I cut it, very soft, I'm not even forcing anything, and layered, look at these guys, look, very, ukipua chapo kama hii utasikia aje, ikuyonja tundi wa muta yonja lakini sisi, let us enjoy this. You see, very rare chapati. In a, in any two, it's it's good chapati, healthy, and voila! Thank you, guys.
we have come to the end of this tutorial. Until next one, let me enjoy my chapati. And for those who are doing this for the first time, even if you make a mistake for the first one, do again and again. They will come out like this, exactly like this, if you follow those steps that I've, I've shown you. Uh, until next one, guys, may the Lord protect you, guide you, bless you in everything. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed and you have watched this video until this point, please, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Until next one, shalom.